Yeah. This teammate you ramped is about to get nuclear bomb. Hello everyone, Suzugemi here. Welcome back to the channel. Not a lot of stuff happening right now in the War Thunder. Developers kinda preparing for the Israel ground release. And yeah, during that I'm just chilling around playing with some good lineups. In this video I probably got the worst nuke ever. Because usually when I get the nuke I have zero deaths at the end. But this time it was quite different. Let's check it out. So the map is Finland, realistic battle obviously, no nicknames, nothing. At the beginning I'm always taking this position, going aggressively and hiding behind this hill. A Tam rushed me but couldn't pen me for some reason. Leopard 2k missed, I also see T72 here. With a quick 5 seconds of reloading rapidly damaging them but unfortunately he finishes me off with his top auto cannon all right so far i have only two kills already a terrific match right like there is no chance i'm gonna get the nuke but yeah let's see how it's gonna turn out let's see i'm spawning with the best castle with spr i'm rapidly saying this until they gonna nerf it. Best castle with SPR, Thunder Chief. Quickly returning to the battlefield. During the battle I cannot see these nicknames of course, so... I'm just pixel hunting them. Whatever pixel is moving, I'm destroying it. Quickly grabbing one kill. As you know... Thunder Chief have ballistic computer and it can drop bump seven or eight times. So the loadout I'm using is quite satisfying. It has like 11,000 pound loadout. I'm also evading missiles right now. Ozolot have bad missiles and with the supersonic jet it's quite easy to avoid them. Ozolot survived my bombs, so oof, big oof. I see a weasel here. Ozolot dies to something else. Weasel is destroyed. I still have two bombs left. That means two more drops, two more kills. If the drop will be accurate. I see this guy is moving, BMP2, dropping one bump, and that's a kill. I have one more bump. Like at this point, I'm not even trying to get the new guys. At this point, I'm just trying to get many kills as possible so we can win this match. All right, my tail is getting damaged. Plane is uncontrollable, but I'm still dropping the last bomb and getting the Leopard PL, the Polish Leopard. It was a full up tier by the way boys. This match is full up tier, 10.7. Leopard Hunter lineup, it feels good in up tiers and down tiers. Alrighty, spawning with the Merkava now. I have so far 7 kills and 2 deaths. Uh, the 9.0 Merkava it's basically the best Merkava. When the Israel ground will release, the regular tech tree will have it, I assume. Some of you will say, oh Suslik, this is a slow tank. You don't like slow tanks, why are you using it? Well, it actually can survive because of its giant engine and transmission. Literally 30% of this tank is engine and transmission. All in front of it is like a shield. They can't pan through the hole. Usually enemies shoot at the hole to one tap tanks. In America it doesn't work time to time. And that gives a huge advantage during 1v1 situation. Like 
Bad thing about this tank, it starts located at the back of the tank and it's also a bit slow. So what's happening here? I barely spotted a T-72. Shot him. And got his cannon breach. Now it's the time. I have to finish him off before he repairs. Quickly checking the right side. He smoked. I didn't notice the second tank by the way. As you can see on your screen. Apparently there is now two of them. First finishing the T-72. My teammate is fighting with the T-80. He loses. I'm finishing the T-80 later on. Nine kills. I still don't have the nuke. And unfortunately here I'm getting shot. From two cannons, there's apparently two enemies here. They were just waiting for me. Spawning again, this time with the striker. So here, I want to disable the able point. And since I'm in a striker, I need to follow the road. Because this thing is quite slow on the snow. And at the B point there is lots of hills, this tank don't have enough depression. That's why the best places for this tank is flat terrain. Quickly decap in the A. And there we go, T80. He's still here. Quickly reversing and finishing him off. He didn't expect that. Looking around, I see something past there, but unfortunately couldn't catch him. He's moving towards Charlie Point. Getting stuck. Now I'm decapping Baker. I believe I, I got his cannon breach or something. Trying to finish him off. And that's a kill. Reversing. Am I gonna reverse in time? Yes. This thing have a really bad reverse by the way. Wow. Okay, something is pushing our teammate. I better hurry up. And help him out. It's a T-64, receiving a side shot from me. We're also capping, trying to repair this guy. And also at the far distance there's Gepard. Gepards are really dangerous. T-64 is apparently damaged. I'm pushing them. Getting Gaijin. Couldn't single tap him for some reason. Shooting again. Damage just won't go through. And Gepard finishes me off through the smoke. So at this point I was like, I believe 80 points away or 50. If I had like one more shot on him, I could have get the nuke. So I'm spawning with the AA because it has a really low spawn cost. You should always have AA in your lineup, no matter what VR you're on. It's basically a joker spawn. So yeah, right now, I just need to get one kill to get the nuke.
I'm spotting a BMP tail. I got shot here by something. Not sure. But I'm gonna risk it and kill this BMP to finally finish this match off. So I'm leaving the vehicle. Nuke is ready. Time to drop it. Am I gonna make it in time? That's the main question. So at the total, I have 13 kills, 5 deaths. A really bad score. This is my worst nuke so far. How did I even farm enough points? Spawned 4 times. I was quite surprised. Just flying straight to the objective. Match is almost over. Uh, they actually decapped. So tickets are not bleeding anymore. And there we go. Here it goes, my nuke. AA is trying to get me. But it's too late. Nuke is already out. And yeah, that was it. This lineup is so good. If you want to relax, chill and carry at the same time, this is for everyone. 9-7 USA. AGS, obviously. If you kept it... Lucky for you, I already got two nukes with the AGS and this is like the third one. The point was, even after your first death, there is still a chance you can get the nuke. Don't give up, you can do it, no problem. So you guys, don't forget to check out my other videos. But I'm gonna see you next time. Peace out.